Hello everyone. I am Rajneet Kaur, working as English mistress, Government Elementary School, Wazirpur, in Patiala. Dear students, look at the pictures carefully and answer the question. In this picture, you can see a palette, paint brushes. canvas easel i am going to ask you a question regarding this picture who uses these things the answer to the question who uses these things is a painter or an artist an artist or a painter is a person who creates paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby can you imagine how would an artist feel if he lost his eyesight ki tusi soch sakde ho ki jekar kise kalakar di akhan di roshni chali jaye ta oh kis tarah mehsoos karega welcome to the session of the story bed number 29 written by tariq rehman bed number 29 is a wonderful story written by tariq rehman who very beautifully portrays the life of a painter after he lost his eyesight in an accident i will tell you the summary of the story bed number 29 A man whose hobby was painting met with an accident and lost his eyesight. While he was in hospital, Naim, his ward mate, encouraged him to paint again. Naim described different scenes and he painted them. Naim left hospital before the author got his eyesight back. Let us read the story now. Brakes shrieked, something struck, someone cried, and there was darkness spreading all around me. Pain leapt in my whole body, and a gentle voice said, "Please don't move, sir. It might be dangerous." I tried to understand what had happened. I recalled the pre-dawn glow, trees and flowers, the dew-bathed grass, all waiting for the sunrise. I had imprisoned this all on the canvas, my masterpiece, the joy of life. So I named it Life. Then remembered the busy street scene. the roar of traffic the car and the crash my hand touched the bandages on my eyes no god i moaned not this my life was a nightmare of sounds feelings smells tastes and dreadful depression it was a cage of darkness which held me prisoner darkness and me that's all time stood still the sun rose no more for me the bloom of flowers the streams and the clear sky were just memory life seemed to be dying with me hour after hour i would lie on the bed as if staring at the ceiling how do you do he was my ward mate naim who was known as number 29 that being the number of his bed a soft spoken cheerful man who comforted me with many a story diverting my mind from the shocking realities of life 
except he limped and was on bed number 29 i hardly knew anything about him he wonderfully described the birds hopping among smiling brightness of the morning that i imagined i could see the scene myself go on i would urge whenever his voice stopped thus he would minutely describe the scene outside his windows the whole day this gave hope to me listen he said one morning start painting which as you said was your hobby before i lashed out at him i shouted getting hysterical that he had no right to joke about my art he limped away to his bed days passed then one day i asked him if he had been moved by anything yes he began slowly well many things he suddenly brightened ah yes once i walked by a farm house on a golden october evening and i saw a haystack it wasn't straw it was pure gold all around the world was a blaze with color red leaves white ducks basking in the last golden rays of the sun setting on the blood red west there i stood and gasped unable to move what i cried didn't you paint it there was an uneasy silence which embarrassed me for having asked such a question after all i thought everyone is not an artist i mean i would have painted it i said hurriedly why don't you paint it is in my mind and i know you can paint do please say yes he pleaded and before i knew what i did i said yes let us discuss the story now breaks shrieked something struck someone cried and there was darkness spreading all around me pain leapt in my whole body and a gentle voice said please don't move sir it might be dangerous i tried to understand what had happened i recalled the pre-dawn glow trees and flowers the dew bathed grass all waiting for the sunrise i had imprisoned this all on the canvas my masterpiece the joy of life so i named it life then remembered the busy street scene the roar of traffic the car and the crash my hand touched the bandages on my eyes no god i moaned not this doing the word meanings now number 1 shrieked made a loud noise ethe shrieked ka matlab hai break laggan di tikhi awaaz leapt jump or spring a long way to a great height or with great force kudna masterpiece a work of outstanding artistry skill or workmanship sarvottam kirti moaned make a long low sound expressing physical or mental suffering kurlaya explaining the paragraph now one day the author was going on a busy street suddenly he was struck by a fast moving vehicle as a result of this accident 
the author lost his eyesight the author was a painter he used to paint pictures before he lost his eyesight break laggan di tikhi awaaz aayi koi cheez aake laggi koi chillaya ate lekhak de chare paase hanera kirda ja reha si lekhak samjhan di koshish karan lagga ki ki hoya si us de hatha ne ਅੱਖਾਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੰਨੀਆਂ ਪੱਟੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਛੂਇਆ ਤੇ ਚੀਕ ਉਠਿਆ my life was a nightmare of sounds feelings smells tastes and dreadful depression it was a cage of darkness which held me prisoner darkness and me that's all time stood still the sun rose no more for me the bloom of flowers the streams and the clear sky were just memory life seemed to be dying with me hour after hour i would lie on the bed as if staring at the ceiling how do you do he was my wardmate naim who was known as number 29 that being the number of his bed let us do the word meanings now the first is nightmare it means unpleasant situation bura supna dreadful causing or involving great suffering fear or unhappiness extremely bad or serious pyanak explaining the paragraph now as a result of the accident the author lost his eyesight time stood still sama hun sthir ho gaya si the sun rose no more suraj channa band ho gaya si phullan da khidna jal tarawa ate nirmal akash hun sirf yaadan ban ke reh gaye san the author met a person named naeem in the hospital ward naeem was known as number 29 that being the number of his bed a soft spoken cheerful man who comforted me with many a story diverting my mind from the shocking realities of life except he limped and was on bed number 29 i hardly knew anything about him he wonderfully described the birds hopping among smiling brightness of the morning that i imagined i could see the scene myself go on i would urge whenever his voice stopped thus he would minutely describe the scene outside his windows the whole day this gave hope to me let us do the word meanings now cheerful noticeably happy and optimistic khushal diverting entertaining or amusing limped walk with difficulty typically because of a damaged or stiff leg or foot langda ke turna naim was a soft spoken cheerful man who diverted the mind of the author from the shocking realities of life the author knew only two things about naim that naim limped and he was on bed number 29 the whole day naim would describe the scene outside his windows this gave hope to the author naim ek mit bolda vyakti si jo kahaniyan suna ke lekhak nu dilasa dinda rehnda si naim 
ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਖਿੜਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਦੇ ਦ੍ਰਿਸ਼ ਦਾ ਵਰਣਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਿਸਤਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਅਜੀਹਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਲੇਖਕ ਨੂੰ ਆਸ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਲਿਸਨ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਵਨ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਚ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਸੈਡ ਵਾਸ ਯੋਰ ਹੌਬੀ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਆਈ ਲੈਸ਼ਡ ਆਊਟ ਐਟ ਹਿਮ ਆਈ ਸ਼ਾਊਟਡ getting hysterical that he had no right to joke about my art he limped away to his bed days passed then one day i asked him if he had been moved by anything yes he began slowly well many things he suddenly brightened ah yes once i walked by a farm house on a golden october evening and i saw a haystack it wasn't straw it was pure gold all around the world was a blaze with color red leaves white ducks basking in the last golden rays of the sun setting on the blood red west there i stood and gasped unable to move what i cried didn't you paint it there was an uneasy silence which embarrassed me for having asked such a question after all i thought everyone is not an artist i mean i would have painted it i said hurriedly why don't you paint it is in my mind and i know you can paint do please say yes he pleaded and before i knew what i did i said yes let us do the word meanings now lashed out criticized in anger speak angrily fatkarna hysterical shouted in an uncontrolled way pagalpan a blaze full of bright color chamakdar ranga nal pari let us do the explanation now one day naim asked the author to start painting again but the author spoke angrily with naim saying that he had no right to joke about his art naim ne ik din lekhak nu dobara to chitra banaun layi keha lekhak ne us nu bahut fatkarya te keha ki naim nu us di kala bare mazak karan da koi adhikar nahi hai after few days naim described a beautiful scene to the author the author asked him if he painted that scene but then he felt ashamed because everyone could not be an artist kuch dina baad naim ne lekhak nu bahut hi sundar drish da varnan kita लेखक चिल्लाया तू चित्र पेंट नहीं कीता फिर लेखक ने सोचा हर आदमी कलाकार नहीं हुंदा नईम अर्ज द ऑथर टू स्टार्ट पेंटिंग अगेन एंड द ऑथर एक्सेप्टेड नईम ने लेखक नु दोबारा पेंटिंग शुरू करण दी बेनती कीती ते लेखक मान गया पोस्ट रीडिंग एक्टिविटीज learning to read and comprehend answer the following questions number 1 who wrote the story bed number 29 the options are ruskin bond william shakespeare tariq rehman charles dickens question number 2 what did the did the author lose in an accident the options are 
legs, eyesight, arm, hands. Question number 3. What did the author do before he lost his eyesight? The options are he used to play games, he used to paint pictures, he used to sing songs, he used to dance a lot. Question number 4. Who was hit by the car? The options are Naeem, Subia, author Bobby Gillian. Question number 5. Who was known as number 29? The options are author Naeem, Della, Jim. Post reading activities, answers, learning to read and comprehend. Question number one, who wrote the story bed number 29? The answer is Tariq Rehman. Question number two, what did the author lose in an accident? The answer is eyesight. Question number three, what did the author do before he lost his eyesight? Answer is he used to paint pictures. Question number four. Who was hit by the car? The answer is author. Question number five. Who was known as number 29? The answer is Naeem. Write true false against each statement. 1. The narrator met with an accident and lost his eyesight. 2. The name of narrator's wardmate was Naeem. 3. The author met Naeem in the hospital ward. 4. The author was hit by a bus. 5. Naeem was his classmate. Coming to the answers. Number 1. The narrator met with an accident and lost his eyesight. True. Number 2. The name of narrator's wardmate was Naeem. True. Number 3. The author met Naeem in the hospital ward. True. Number 4. The author was hit by a bus. False. Number 5. Naeem was his classmate. False. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. How did the author lose his eyesight? Question number 2. What did the author of bed number 29 do before he lost his eyesight? Question number 3. Who did the author meet in the hospital? Question number 4. How could Naeem describe different seasons in detail? The answers to the above questions are Question number 1. How did the author lose his eyesight? Answer. One day, the author was going on a busy street. Suddenly, he was struck by a fast-moving vehicle. 
as a result of this accident the author lost his eyesight question number 2 what did the author of bed number 29 do before he lost his eyesight answer the author was a painter he used to paint pictures before he lost his eyesight question number 3 who did the author meet in the hospital answer the author met naeem in the hospital ward question number 4 how could naeem describe different seasons in detail answer naeem himself was an artist he had painted four paintings of different seasons he had described the colors of these very paintings to the author at the end of the session i would like to tell you something about naeem naeem was already an artist he was a cheerful man he was a man who was really kind hearted he entertained the author and he diverted his mind in such a way so that he could overcome his suffering in at last i would like to tell you that naeem was a wonderful character such people are very difficult to be found in the real world he respected humanity this story describes a supreme sacrifice made by naeem for the sake of the author your home assignment is to read the chapter try to do all the questions done in today's session thank you so much